Right now, heavyweight bout with Robert Hellenius, nicknamed the Nordic Nightmare, who is Finnish, although from Stockholm, Sweden, and taking on Gerald Washington, the former USC football player who served in the U.S. Navy and got into boxing late at the age of 30. Ray Flores in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen from Minneapolis, Minnesota, it's time for our co-feature of the evening. 10 rounds in the heavyweight division, and it's all brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Your three judges scoring this bout will be Mike Fitzgerald, Patrick Morley, and Kyle Sheely. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds is Gary Mizua. Introducing first fighting to my left out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the great trunks, weighing in officially at already 236 and one half pounds. With the record that stands at 19 wins, three losses, one draw, a dozen wins coming by way of a knockout. The U.S. Navy veteran joins us tonight from Vallejo, California. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gerald Washington. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the black trunks trim with the red, weighing in officially at 243 and one half pounds. His record includes 28 wins, 17 of those coming inside the distance against two losses. Joining us from Helsinki of Finland, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Robert, the Nordic Nightmare, Hellenes. Boxers, you know the rules. I expect you to obey them. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Keep it clean or keep it fair. Touch them up. Best of luck. First time fighting here in the U.S. A proud Finn, so he is Finnish. <laughs> and he's taking on General Washington. Yes, that's how we could finish his opponent. Yes, and but a boom. All right, so Washington though did not, his last fight did not finish against Kovnatsky, and he said he tried a new style, an inside kind of fight style that wasn't his game, and he's not going to do that here. Yeah, he said he was going to go back to his old fighting ways, and we're going to see what he's going to do right now. Strong jazz from Gerald, too. Yeah, right now the... the uh, and neither one of these guys are defense, the noted Nord for their defense. Yeah, the Nordic Nightmare right now is too straight up and down. A guy like Gerald, uh, you know, Gerald Washington, he throws that right hand over the top. He can't miss him. You're right about that. He can't. I mean, these are two big guys. Great to the body, you jab to the body, shoot the right in over the top. Alenis at 6'7", 6'6", is Washington at eight. He has the reach advantage by about three and a half inches. Mix it up. Washington, who played a tight end at USC for Pete Carroll, later got a shot in the NFL with the Seahawks in Buffalo. At age 30, came to boxing and said in boxing year, he's 37 now. He's still that's learning. What, that's what he needs to do. He needs to faint and make Robert commit to something and then come over the top just like Ray said. You know, another thing, Anthony, as you know, is about to use your experience. He's been in there. He fought, uh, uh, he's, he's fought uh, Adam Kavnowski, um Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder. You know, he, he, he sparred with Vladimir Klitschko. Use that experience. Who's that against a guy like like a guy like uh, Hellenius, who's got a good record and who's a strong puncher? But use your experience. Jab up, jab down, jab to the body. A good exchange between Washington and the Nordic Nightmare. And he's doing what you say. He's jabbing up and he's jabbing down. He's just got to come up with something. He's got to come over with that right hand, see if he can connect. And, and as you see, he's only throwing one punch at a time. Jab to the head, jab to the head, to shoot right hand to the body. Well, Hellenius went to training camp with Deontay Wilder some time ago. No, but I'm, I'm more impressed 
that he's a serviceman. I'm more pressed talking about Washington. Yeah. Yes. Joe Washington, he's served our country. In the U.S. Navy. Yes. And yes. that's one of the reasons he, yeah, he, you know, he said he never really, he was a fan of boxing, but kind of, it's one of those things playing football. He played some tennis, kind of fell into it. Got a scholarship for the USC and in the football. Oh, back He said he wasn't a fan of football, he, and then he got into boxing because he tried it out or something like that. When you think of, right, there aren't a lot of ex-football players that have had great success transitioning into boxing. Mark Gastineau comes to mind. Yeah, Too Tall Jones. Right. But who's my stable mate? Oh, okay. That's what happened. That's why his career went south. Is that what happened? <laughs> I kid, Ray, you know that. Oh, a good body shot right from Robert Hines. And a miss, a left that misses at the end of round one from Washington. Just talking about those who played football and made the transition into boxing. Going back to Charlie Powell and even Alonzo Highsmith. Highsmith with 23 knockouts. And Washington, who played mostly tight end in some defensive end at USC for Pete Carroll. At 6'6". Six, six. Mark Sanchez was the quarterback during that time, and there were Rose Bowl champs beating Penn State back in 2008. Start of round two. We heard in the corner of the Nordic Nightmare saying you, you got to break him down, break down your opponent, knock him off his edge. Expound on that for me. Just, just, get, just hit him with something that means something and back him up, get his respect. And that I think Mark, uh, I think Robert is trying to do that. Helenis. All right. And he got something in there on Washington. Well, every time Helenis throws a good punch, he backs right back up. He doesn't stay there. So that gives Gerald the incentive to come forward, which he's doing. And that's what's going to give him the center to throw that right hand over top. And he's going to catch him because Helenius drops that left hand when he steps back. Yeah, this, this is his 31st, go ahead, uh, Anthony, his 31st pro fight. As I say, he fought, he told us he fought over 250 fights as an amateur. Yeah, and Helenius is using his uh, reach and using his height on him. He's staying back. I think he's he's using some of Kalichko moves that he's, uh, you know, he's staying back from. But, right. Very unorthodox, very, un very awkward. It is. He's only got an inch and a half height advantage. But he's standing much taller. That, should, should that open something up for Washington? Yeah, I, if I'm a general, I'm just focusing on the body. Keep that shit down and, and bang that body. That's what you right. gotta do. That's exactly Don't what worry you about this shit. The chin will follow. The, you, the body come first, the chin will follow. You see the punches landed. Minus you know, Chris, if you, throw, if you throw a jab to the head, Gerald throws jab. If you hit him or not, it distracts him, keep, keeps him busy, and you shoot that right hand to the body. Then you stay tight, stay close. And let your hands go on the inside. He's got the faster hands. Use it. Well, Washington said he wanted to establish a rhythm with his jab and go from there, but I haven't seen it yet. But I'll tell you right now what Gerald has to do, he's got to get that right hand up around his cheek. Right around his chin. You know, like, like an ear muff. Keep it up there. He's got it. His right hand's too many. It's all over the place. And Washington reaches longer than so he, it shouldn't be a reason that he can't get that jab established. I mean, the one thing, he said he came to the game late from football. Washington did say he watched video of Lennox Lewis to learn skills. He was trying to model himself after. He's not close, but he needed something, some framework. Well, you could find a better fighter. Okay, can a compliment to our colleague who you see on the Fox and pay-per-view broadcast of BBC, Lennox Lewis, the former undisputed champ. Inside of 20 seconds here in round two, scheduled for 10. Of an interesting oh, oh, body yeah. shots from oh, yeah. and a response from Washington that doesn't do any damage. And that's how you know it hurt when you come back with your own body shot. At the end of round two, Hellenis may have grabbed an edge there. And we are back moments ago. Looked like the headbutt, Washington's head going into the beer, the chin, Robert Hellenis. Appears to be okay. We heard in Glennis's corner saying from his trainer he's respecting everything.
Definitely. I mean, and, and you got to. He's uh, he's staying on the outside. Gerald is so frustrated that he can't even get in and, and get nothing started. Round three. Now, if, I, if I'm Gerald, I use my athleticism. I use my my speed. He's got good footwork. Alenis has got the best footwork. Use your speed. Use your footwork. Take angles on him and bang that body. Start from down. Up, downstairs, upstairs. And like you said earlier, he needs to use his feints. He's not using them. He's just going in there and there trying to hit. Look at the stare from Melanis. There it is. Just that. Stick it up there. Stick it up there. Bang that right in up downstairs. He's got the longer reach. I don't even know why he's in. Stop. Yeah, it's at least a three inch advantage on that reach for Washington. Work on the left is Melanis. Backing up Washington. Who answers with a shot. A stiff jab, that's what he needs to do. Using jabs and, and feints. Look, Melanis has got a good record. He's got a lot of knockouts. He can fight, he's gonna know he can fight a little bit. And he plus, coming from the Nordic country, those are tough as they come over here. It's, you know, because the quality, the, you know, the cold, I mean, it's just that area of the world. It's cold, it's frigid. We, you know, it ain't like the world soft I, I, I remember the old Ingemar Eg Johansson. Right? He was from Sweden. 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 Okay, that was your Ingemar. He had thunder. He had that thunder in his right hand. But there aren't a lot of... There's been a lot of Finnish fighters, <laughs> no. and that's why he said his dad was a big Ali fan and started training him. And he became a fan of boxing and then turned it into a career. Went to Cuba, actually, at the age of 18 to work on his craft. That was interesting when he said that, yeah. See, he got that shit in there and got caught. Washington got two hands. That's what he needs to do. He needs to lead with his jab, and then everything will follow after that jab. And as you can see, he's trying to lean away out of the way of a punch instead of dropping his chin. Washington landed a right to the head. Oh, that can hurt him in the long run because you're not going to be as quick as you is early in the fight. It looks like another head butter. Well, but because he's standing straight up, Chris. I mean, that ain't, that ain't Gerald's fight. He's got his chin straight up in the air. You come underneath him. It's going to happen. Oh, a little left there. Not sure the impact by Owens, but he got to the head of Washington, and now they push. Great. Body shot for Washington. to the head by Washington. And we have gone through three rounds scheduled for 10. Right now we go to round four in the battle of heavyweights. Gerald Washington in the white and silver trunks against the Finnish fighter from Stockholm, Sweden, Robert Allen. I think Gerald at the end of that last round was getting the rhythm. I, 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 see, I still see it in this round. Oh, oh! That shot. Set. That was that right hand we were talking about. Yes, right. yes. Over the top of that lazy jab. Right. And he's standing straight up. He, 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 he's getting, gonna get caught. And it's not gonna. And it's not gonna change anything soon. Off balance was Washington though. He has to be careful here. Just keep his composure. Keep jabbing to that body. Getting close enough. Shoot it over the top. Gerald needs to feint a little bit. Yes. He get him yes. Off balance. He had him hurt. He needs right. to feint a little more. Get him off balance. Then catch him with something big. He just ran in. Well, yeah, Washington on the attack there. Look, right now, just use your boxing ability. Use your athleticism. You're going gonna, gonna to catch this guy. Because Helenius leans back. He don't slide. He don't slip to side to side. He doesn't want to roll underneath. He goes straight back. You're going to catch him. The but he took that shot from Washington. It stunned him, but he... Oh, absolutely, Chris. It's like chopping away. Go. Water on the rock. Eventually, it's going to go if you keep tapping. That means he's in shape, too, especially if you can stand up from something big like that. Your legs are in shape, and you're in good condition. Watch his land in favor of Hollis. In terms of jabs, he's landed more than Washington. 
Now he's looking for that big overhand. The lettuce is not going to let him get it. He got to, like I say, he got to feign him and feign him, and then he hit him with the big There it is. There's something different. It seems like Washington's punches have had more of an impact, even though lettuce has landed more. They're sharper than Christopher at this point. It's been a close fight. Watch that head. What Gerald has to do is, when he gets inside, let his hands go. He's just he's letting you know, let his tie him up, and he's trying to tie up his lettuce. Let your hands go. Let the judges see who's trying to make a fight of it. Looks like Washington sometimes is off balance. There it is. There it is. He's trying to get advantage of the reach. And he came back with the left hook after that one. We got a tough fight to get there. You know I mean? just tough as they come. Misses from Helenus. Uppercut. Let go. Break. Let go. Let go. Time. Four rounds. Let's check in with Jordan Hardy. Chris, thank you. Jared Washington needs this win tonight to stay in the conversation of top heavyweights. He's lost three of his last four fights, but his heart hasn't grown fake, guys. He didn't turn pro until he was 30 years old, and now at 37, he's hoping for three more years. He said he doesn't feel old and takes care of his body, so he believes 40 is realistic. But this fight versus Hellenius is a fresh start for him so much, he got rid of his nickname, Agayo Negro, and added, we're going to see him box more, establish his jab, and not fight on the inside as much because he feels like that's where he's gotten caught and gotten in trouble, folks. Chris? And Jordan, you know that last round was Watt's best. He landed 14 punches. Eight of those were for power punching. And the right between the gloves of Helenis. Second goal. And there comes the left, so maybe we'll check with our unofficial scorer in a few moments, Marcos Villegas. But I mean, this is close. This is a close bout through nearly, nearly the, at the halfway point. And after Hellenis took maybe round two and three, let's check in with Marcos now and get a gauge on how you're scoring this. I have it, thir I have it 38 38. Uh, it's an even fight, and like you mentioned, it's been really, really close. Uh, round one and round three could have gone either way you know, with both fighters uh, landing good quality punches. It seems that uh, Gerald Washington had his best round uh, that last round, so let's see if he can go ahead and keep up that momentum and start racking up points. And then looking at, you know, the punch stats, the overall, the percentages, Hellenis has landed more total punches, so that would fall in the count. Nearly almost 50% of his jabs have landed. You know, it's a close fight. Uh, Marco's got it tight, even right now, but I think this Gerald Washington could certainly pull away. Yeah, don't you get the feel that, that there's he's nothing the Linus can do at this point? Anything different? He's got the he got nothing different for him. Definitely he's the same he's stuff. Definitely he's coming in with the same exact punch. His chin is still high. If he gets caught with that punch later on, if it even goes that long, he's gonna he's gonna go down. Anthony, two or three more times, you're right. He's gonna he definitely two or three more times. He gets tapped with that right hand. He's gonna go. It looked like Gerald just got momentarily stunned, especially off that strong grab that Millennia's had. You know, Gerald's a good athlete, very good athlete. But, you know, he's got, you know, he started the game late, so he hasn't had that long amateur career, or if he had any at all. So he doesn't really you know, understand how to keep him, to, to slide in, slide out. Take your time, break him down systematically. Alanis. Has 17 knockouts. Oh, so he got his shit in there. Got caught. Gerald got to learn to keep that shit down. He got to Washington there. Washington has a dozen knockouts. Has been knocked out three times. That one landed on the head. It's the head of Hollis. Both of them has their chin up in the air. Both of them are coming there with the chin up in the air. They get hit with something big later on the fight. They're, they're not going to stand up to it because they're, just, they're winded. You no, know, that's why I always say, Anthony, Chris, it ain't a crime to move your head once in a while. Not a crime. Washington Ducks comes out of the corner. See, stick that jab to the chin, even if you hit him, bang that right into the body. You got that right. Just keep banging right. the body. It's there all night. Oh, there it is. He heard me. He heard me. 
Well, you're yelling it loud enough. Right. Let him go. Let him go. Body shots landed. So far, Washington really only has three that have had an impact. And if Washington keep the pressure on him like this, Millennials can't really fight going backwards. If he keep the pressure on him, he's going to win this fight. So the body shots overall in this fight. But Keeping track of just about even. All right, there is Helenas. We heard uh, Anthony Durrell, Ray Mancini, Chris Myers ringside here. Nice to have you with us live on FS1 in the corner. Gerald Washington will edit out some of the verbiage, but what did you what did you take from what he was being told? Really? I mean, just going in there and getting the monitor. He know he, his cornermen know he can do it, and that's what he got to believe in himself that he can do the it stool. and go in there and get this guy out. The stool. You know, thank no. you. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Systematically. Keep that jab moving up and down. Bang that right hand to the body. Come back left hook to the body, left hook to the head. Just keep doing it. It's, it's basic. One, two, three. Yeah, I mean, is, is Hellenius more of the skilled fighter here, even though Washington is the more athletic of the two? Exactly. Well, yes. Hellenius is a double tough. You know, because you for that term, he's double tough. You know, he's going to be there. You better break him down. Look, you know, we were talking earlier about Charles Martin. After he won that fight, right. would be next one. The winner of this fight. That'd be a good matchup. Winner fight, either one. It'd be a good fight. I mean, Helena has the ability to take a turn a bad fight into a great result with one punch. I mean, he's. Look, I seen Charles uh, Gerald. I'm sorry, Gerald. Gerald Washington. Corner, Gerald Washington, right corner. He he sat down, heavily breathing very heavily. So look. He's getting, he's getting, you know, he's getting winded. And if Helena is to pick a second, a second win, start banging him with some big shots, you don't know what could happen. There are two fighters, two heavyweights in their mid 30s. Good jab, my Now yeah, they've, they've given us a good show here. It's, it's a highly competitive, I mean, this is a very, very close fight. It's an fight. Yeah, you heard Marcos give his point of view. You never know what the three judges would the handle their seeing this from. Oh, he just oh, missed and, right and a bloody nose. The nose, the left nostril area, area of Kalanis is bloody. Like good. Gerald is cut over the right eye. So each of these guys marked up. Yes, there it is. Let us go and see. There it again. Yeah. Keep on pumping. See, now Gerald's getting bothered by the eye. Yep. And them jabs is coming hard. That's it, they are. Yeah, that, that blood is dripping. That right eye tearing up on Washington. And he's messing with the two of his talent. Yes. How you jack Bob? Try to wipe away the sweat, the blood. Let your opponent know when you do that that you're Let it go. Let it go. Got to get through the next 55 what? seconds of round six before his corner can work on that. See if Alanis tries to take advantage. Blood on both fighters' faces. And Gerald is looking a little windy right now. He's slowing down, especially for And he's supposed to be the better athlete. And Chris, and Ed, you can see that Hellenius now is getting, getting his confidence level, and he's breaking down. And you can see, you can see Gerald slowly depleting. Backpedaling now again, a look a little off balance with Washington. Yeah, Hellenius is getting his second win. Yeah, he, his awkward style has has had an effect on Washington. Telegraph. And it's close. We're live here at the Armory, they're working on that right eye that Anthony Durrell pointed out with Gerald Washington that was cut and starting to affect his vision against Robert Hellenius. Hellenius landed 65% of his jabs in that last round. And through the six rounds, overall, more than 50% of his jabs have landed. And that's what he needs to do, especially now. He's caught his second wing, he's going there. And if he's going to do it now, he needs to do it and get Gerald out of there. And they worked on his nose, which was bloodied a bit after that right, last round. So here we are in round seven. I mean, this is a good fight all, all around. Both guys are fighting. Both guys are punching. Both guys are bloody. Yeah, yeah it's it's definitely a good fight. And both guys are kind of have an unusual style, right? Not your typical heavyweight fight. Yeah, that's right. 
Anthony, I don't know if you just noticed, was Gerald begging the right hand of the body. Lenny has finally dropped his elbow to block it. He hasn't done it all, and he just dropped that elbow to block it. That's how you do it. You know, I'm just surprised that, that Washington wasn't able earlier to deliver a, you know, he stung Lenny that one time, but it, it just to deliver a powerful punch. When Alenius seemed to have his guard down. And, and, and that's because Alenius had more experience than Gerald. You know, he can adapt to it. He can adjust to certain angles and not get hit. Oh! And he stung Washington with that shot. And you banged your had an extensive amateur career. He told over 250 right. amateur fights. And he started to pick up the pace now. And this, now he's starting to do things he wasn't doing in the beginning. He's jabbing to the body. He's right. stabbing uh, Gerald to his okay. body. And Gerald is... He's winded. He's breathing heavy. Gerald needs to go to that body again and, and drop them hands and then come up top with something big. Go. And, 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 and you know what I do. Especially on the big guy. You've got to use a combination. Two, three punches to get out of the way. Right now, both guys are doing one punch at a time. Yeah, and the percentages of Washington's punches that have landed are, are very low Brent. compared to, to what Linus is doing. Right, because he threw more punches, just landed less. And maybe a reason you see the tiring. Inside, Helenis takes advantage of a miss from Washington. Helenis now is starting to do things. He's now he's using experience. He's sliding a little bit. He's getting closer. He's getting closer to Joe. And then he's just moving back in time, making a punch miss, and he's countering. I would say because this game vicious and angles, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Make him just miss just enough so that you can touch him with something coming back. I mean, that hook by Jerry. You know, Washington has not been able to take full advantage of his reach advantage. Lennox is a strong guy. You, you can see it. He's staying on that. He's picking his hands up, blocking with the hands, staying closer than he was before. He's sticking to his game plan. That's his game plan to stay right there using jabs and right handed counter punches, and he's doing that. Yeah, he stands firm like a big oak tree yeah. when he took that shot from Washington early. And this is what I'm talking about. He's uh, he's bagging Washington up. And Washington needs to bag him up. Washington's shaking his head, but now he's on the ropes, being pushed into the ropes. That is the end of round number seven. In Gerald Washington's corner. <laughs> Deep breath, baby. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep as you can make it. When you're using the jab, jab, you can't do shit with it. You understand me? Cut your fucking work and back to the head. You understand? It's there for you when you run it, but it can't be wide. It's got to be short and fast. You understand? Deep breath. Stay behind that jab and run that combination short and fast. Okay. Ankle socket. Ankle socket. And then do your day, do them feet, okay? All right, so you heard. I think that was finished over in the corner of the Nordic Nightmare, and apologize if anybody was offended in Washington's corner, but I, I think they're very clear about what he has to do. It's one thing to say it, it's another thing for Washington to do it. Definitely, I think Washington is just a little winded right here. He needs to get that second win. If he can get that, he can still win his fight. The jabs have worked for Robert Helenius. But I just see that the confidence of Helenius growing. Yes. Right. Yes, and Washington, it seems like it's going, the, fading the other way. That's exactly, why, he's depleted. Yeah, his corner was so emphatic, but it's a close fight. It's still up in the air. It's anybody's fight here. Now, look at, look at Lennis. He's staying closer. He's not moving back, and he's and he's matching up jab for jab. And he's actually got the harder jab. And he's stalking him down. That's what he's supposed to do. See how he dropped that elbow again? He did. <laughs> Should have done that earlier, but he's now, he's doing it. But if he fakes the jab, well, if he fakes that right hand and come up top, he can catch it. Because he's dropping the elbows, like you said. We have not had a knockdown in this fight. For more than anything, and I, and, and you can see it at the, the confidence that Hellenius has, has gotten. You can see it. That, that Joe Washington looks a little bit depleted at this point. And he has the advantage of those punches landed we've been talking about in the last two rounds, unofficially. He's gone to Hellenius. 
Gerald is looping his punches. That's why he's getting caught with the jab a lot. He's looping his punches. If he comes straight down a fight, he, he, he might can hit him with something, but he has to do that first. Let us walk him down. Coming forward now. Earlier in the fight, he was backing up, leaning back. Now he's coming forward. Staying close to the pocket. Absolutely right. And you, uh, I just saw Joe Washington have a look of, like, frustration. Uh, 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 what's the word? You know, you see it in the fight. As another fighter, you see it. I hit a guy like that. I'm going to keep the pressure on him, and I can make him quit. His punches are now are dragging. He's dragging his punches. And when I say he's depleted, I'm talking about uh, uh, mentally, he's emotionally. Basically. Yes, exactly. Depleted of any uh, thoughts of winning. He's slowly depleted. Break. And he's not down big. He's oh. not down oh, big. No, he's easy to win turn fight. It's a good fight. Oh, he believe, and he, oh he just he shook him. him. You just said it. Just as you shook right him. Right hit him. You, get, you can't loop the punches with this guy. You got to you throw him straight. No, he's hurt. He's still hurt. He's going to the body. He's still hurt. He ain't getting up! He ain't getting up! He ain't getting up! Great punch pass, just called it out. Straight punch, he threw the straight right. He did what I told him to do, and he dropped it. Like a big old Pregan. Wow! Down to the wow. Washington nails the Nordic Nightmare. It's just what his corner told him to do. Go in there and make it a short night. And he just did that. And we hope. Knockout in the eighth round. And we want to make sure as the, the medical staff tends to Robert Polanis. It was a powerful shot. Seemingly behind in this bout, Washington delivered the shot he needed. And he, he was hurt, but it was just the fatigue really getting to him why he couldn't get up. Talking about looping punches and tiring and slowing down. All needed was that one big punch. It looks like Polinus is getting up, which is an encouraging sign. But a knockout win. Well, what a powerful right hand from Gerald Washington, who was behind on two of the three judges' scoring cards going into that eighth round when he delivered the right to finish off the Nordic Nightmare, who has awakened from the dream after this. It was a straight right hand that did it. I called it out the previous round. It was a straight right hand. And yeah. another straight right hand that knocked him down. You know, and I've been saying right before that that he looked depleted physically and mentally, and he came back. That's the great thing about the sport, man. Turn it right around. Another straight oh, right. It's a straight that's right. It's not looping. It drops it. It's straight down the pipe, and that's what he needed to do. Yeah, that expression, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. They fall and glad that Lenny is, is sleeping well. All right, they were able to get him up. Yeah, I think it was more fatigue with uh, Hellenius. Well, Washington uh, then, then hurt. delivered the shot, and now his 13th career knockout, his 20th professional win. Again, behind it, a lot of the statistical punch categories or punch stats that had the biggest punch when it mattered most for the ring and Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 32 seconds of the eighth round for your winner by knockout, Gerald Washington.